have proof because I'm not, this is not like, like I didn't even plan this. I didn't plan to do this. I didn't even know I was going to do this. Go live and this is not planned, y'all. Like, I'm not going to have proof. Evil people, they got proof. They got receipts. They have this shit planned out. I'm just telling you my fucking life. That's it. This is my life. I went through his porn history. It was gay shit. It was mad gay shit on his porn history. Besides the porn history, this has been happening for like two years already. And I have a gay best friend for those who don't know. While we fucking, this happened for two years already. While we fucking, he will come, he will fuck up. As in, the first couple times, I just thought like it, he was just fucking up. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm saying fuck up as in, you know, we talk when we fuck. We talk nasty. So, instead of saying, like, this my pussy, like, he'll say this my dick. Or give me that dick. Like, you know, it. and at first, I was like, oh, you know, maybe because I'm saying dick, he's probably saying dick after me, confusing it. Like, I'm not thinking nothing of it. Like, you know, I never ex experienced no shit like that. Like, deal with a DL nigga, like, nothing. And... I was just like, maybe he's confusing it. I said, like, nothing, nothing big. But he kept doing it. A few moments later. Like, so whoever's pregnant by him right now, go get an abortion right now because y'all gonna suffer. And I'm saying that because right now, I think he got like two bitches pregnant right now. Like, he's around. He gets around. He gets around. He fucks everything and he does not use a condom. He does not use a condom. He does not. And he be burning because I've seen him a few times with a Band-Aid on the top of his butt. Y'all know what that means. With a Band-Aid right on top of his butt cheek. A couple times. Like, he will get burned and go to the fucking clinic and come back like nothing. Like, you wasn't going to tell me? Thank God I don't be fucking him like that. I never caught nothing from him. Thank God I don't be fucking him like that. I don't. He's never here. And when he's here, I, don't sleep. I sleep on the couch. Oh, I'll make him sleep on the couch. Like, I don't... I gotta be careful. Like, this man is like a sex addict. He's a sex addict because he likes to fuck everything. Like, trannies, men. He like everything. He like in his butt. He like his butt played with. He like the sensation of getting his butt played with. He likes that. He likes stuff in his butt. I never... Don't, I never did that. He would. He don't. He know better. He know I'm gonna cut his ass. That's why. But somebody he was with that he was very comfortable with told me that he liked to get stuff in his butt and stuff like that. Yeah, he liked stuff like that. That's what he liked. So he's like a sex addict. He's a sex addict. He'll fuck anything. He'll fuck a girl, a boy, anything. This is what he likes. Like that's what I found in his porn history. Nasty. But besides that, I don't care about the man. I wish him the best. I don't care about him. I just want him to be a dad, a father. And he's just not. He's just not going to. I'm not gonna force him anymore. That's it. I'm gonna just let the courts handle it, and that's it. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. And I hate giving this bullshit a platform, but there's three things we gotta address about this video. One. She said that she saw gay porn in his phone two years ago. Now, what girl you know is going to go through her boyfriend's phone and see gay, you know, men having sex with men and not say nothing to them? Especially black girls. They're definitely going to clown you if they find some gay porn in your phone. What? They clowning. So that's how you know she lying. She would definitely say something. I don't know any girl that ain't going to confront a man for having gay porn searches in his phone. Two, she said that uh, the other two girls got pregnant by him, and she told both of them to get an abortion. If that doesn't sound like a bitter, hating, scorned baby mom, I don't know what does. That's how you know she lying. You know she jealous of the other girls he's smashing, and he done got her pregnant, too? Oh, yeah. Now, all of a sudden, he likes dudes. Three, she said that, you know, he be burning and... Messing with men, you know, the uh, girls that told him that, this, that, and the third, got a band-aid on, blah, blah, blah. She said she's still fucking him. Matter of fact, she said, I don't be fucking him like that. Like, so that means you still smashing him despite him uh, allegedly burning, you know, things of that nature. So 
this is all just baby mom one-on-one. This is what happens when you have a baby with a scorned woman, you know, and she's going to use that against you forever. You know, he's successful, you know, uh, if all this stuff was a problem, why wasn't it addressed back then? So that's how you know she's just looking for clout. You know, you got to watch out for things like this. Be careful where you have a baby with. And I'm going to tell you from personal experience, me having a baby mom is the biggest L I ever took in my life. And I'm still trying to recover from it two years later. And I still ain't recovered from that L I took. I never took an L this big in my life. I'm still trying to resolve it and figure it out. You know what I mean? So I definitely know how it goes. Uh... I ain't never had nothing like this happen to me, so I can't say I know what he's going through, but I definitely know what he's going through dealing with somebody that's, you know, scorned and bitter, you know, and the fact you have a child buyer is different. You can't, you can't really move the same like you would with anybody else, but anyway, if you uh, feel the same way or you disagree, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe.